Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters. It's a basic Sorgonomics, and I am on the eve, shooting this late, late night after the podcast, as we do on Tuesday night in your Wednesday morning uh, reception. Uh, so uh, I am going back to the Gathering of the Juggalos. And uh, last year when I was doing this show, it was called something else. I just simply called it Mike, or Good Morning, for instance, because it was just like, I want to do a morning show because I'm not getting enough work lately. Uh, and uh, at the time, it really was kind of open to me talking about whatever the heck I wanted to talk about, which is kind of morphed into I basically talk about social media e things on here and my perceptions and, and, and that kind of nature. And it is what it is. But uh, also part of that, I went out as a part of an experiment as a guide. I was enticed to go back uh, for uh, a friend Dutters and another one, uh, Margie Kerr, actually uh, from the Scare House, who was doing a great book on fear that is out and I hear doing very, very good. Um, I would pick it up, but I really don't have time to read anything right now. Um, if you, Margie, if you have an audio book, I would love to listen to it. Yeah. Side note. But anyways, it was a great time. I, I did I did do some shows and kind of interview them along the way. There was a bunch of pictures, a little bit of video going up. And uh, it, and, and it was good. And, and at the time, it was just audio. And so uh, this is the point where I explain why you won't get a show the next two days. Uh, because I can't do the video version from a hotel room that I only have two of the four nights. Um, so there's that. So why am I going? Why is this such a big deal for me? And why is this such a thing that um, that I have to get into, right? That I have to pull out the stops and go to. I almost didn't go, to be honest, for reasons. Uh, not, not in, you know, including, you know, uh, some deadlines coming up, a certain DVD release we're doing next week and trying to get that in and, and some other obligations that came up, like some people scheduling wrestling shows, etc., uh, but it worked out. It, it really kind of worked out in, in the end. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not at the gathering yet, gory in the uh, Periscope, but I will be in uh, well under 24 hours. Um, but uh, no, I'm going to do the crazy thing. I'm going to get the podcast up. I'm going to be up all night. I'm going to get a few hours of sleep. And uh, these things, uh, you know, it really the festivities go until 5 in the morning. So I think I'm going to be well adjusted to, to this week. But again, why am I going? Uh, I had been off of Juggalo Things, uh, which is my music of choice, uh, at least my large fandom music of choice for several years. Um, uh, for about nine years, I did a, a, a site, Western PA Juggalos, for a while. And it was a great community and really, I think, a precursor to a lot of things we do with community here now with Wrestling Mayhem Show, with Awesome Cast, with even PodCamp. Yes, it all influences from this whole insane clown posse thing that I did uh, starting back in college around 2001. And I stopped going, one, it, it's definitely hard to try to go to Indiana for something like this, so I'm kind of, yeah, I miss Western PA Juggalos too, Corey. Uh, but uh, it is hard to go to Indiana, so there's one good excuse. But it also fell in a time where uh, I was making some adjustments in my life and uh, working on new things. And especially uh, starting the new business and freelancing, I just I haven't gone to a lot of concerts. Haven't really uh, between time, schedule, money is just is non-existent. And this opportunity came up last year, and I went to it and uh, realized I cannot miss this again. I, I often refer to it as a bit of a religious ex experience, and not in uh, a religious religious experience, but in a uh, feeling. You know, being around that kind of people, being around that kind of energy that they give off in that. It's why I like going to these shows and being doused in soda, diet soda, for instance. But but it's a whole other side of life that uh, you know you're not exposed to. Um, Every day, it's a whole culture unto itself. It's uh, and 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 it's just just being around those people entertains me, and 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 it's I just love the vibe. I've often looked at the Juggalo thing as a uh, kind of a new hippie-ish thing. Yeah, it's a really weird hippie thing, but uh, but it's it, it's 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 my hippie thing, and and like I said, that energy. It, it's interesting how positive it ends up. And as I think both of my, my colleagues last year um, um, discovered as they were exposed to it, uh, such a positivity around such violent music. And, uh, and like I said, and that energy of being in that, in that show uh, is, uh, is a little bit of nostalgia in there. 
going all the way back to my first show back in 1999 up in there in Cleveland at the Nautica stage, which amazingly I got to uh, uh, film wrestling at several years later, including some people in our Periscope chat room right now uh, in some of those matches and uh, and how that kind of comes full circle and how much I do in attitude today rolls back to that. Um, also, and, and, and then just that the last year, and I went to the ICP show here in Pittsburgh, although it was very weird because it was, um, um, snow delayed, I guess, for a blizzard that came through and, and it was weirdly under attended, but still very, very fun and very back to that vibe. And, uh, and I said, I just determined if nothing else, if I don't get to these other concerts, if I don't go check out a tech nine show, a con mouth King show, my, my other kind of favorite groups to go see live, um, that's okay. But I must, must go to the granddaddy of them all in the, uh, ICP concerts because it's just it's a show that's an experience. It's just not guys upstage uh, on stage uh, performing and maybe you get in a mosh pit or something. Uh, it's it's just something different. And um, and there is a little something extra with this this year, um, and I was reminded of it even more so. What are you doing this week, Corey? But anyways, oh, I know what you're doing. Um, sorry, you said you've never been in, in, to a gathering in the Periscopes. We need to change that, man. You need to clear your, clear your schedule in July next year. Um, but uh, there was a... So I was reminded of this because I actually had to put a little bit of text in the recent DVD release that we're putting out next week. And um, it's part of the reason why, other than the personal reasons, to de I determined to go. Because uh, there was a good friend, or becoming a friend, uh, last year that passed. And, uh, you know, it was really cool to find somebody that kind of, you know, walked up to me and wanted to be a part of what we were doing with the wrestling productions. And was so into it, so good with it. Um, had some really good friends in the business that are doing really, really well. And, and hoping to see a lot of great things from them. And uh, he just kind of, uh, um, out of nowhere, passed last year uh, due to a car accident. And uh, that's something that has still not sell. There's been a, a couple people in the friend coworker space that have uh, passed for me in the last uh, uh, since probably November. And uh, this was one that I determined, you know, uh, I got to attend one ICP show with him. And this is I don't know if this is the pour the drink drink out moment for him um, or what it is, but it solidifies what started with me last year. If nothing else, I should go because he can't. Um, and that's about it. Uh, I, talked to, I already did my piece on that whole situation way back uh, when it happened here. Uh, so I'm not going to get too much into that. Uh, I believe we did on Indie Mayhem show, but uh, but it's definitely something I'm going to be thinking about through this this week. Um, and like I said, the nostalgia, the memories, and uh, making some new ones here, like we did last year. And uh, really looking forward to it. And uh, really looking forward to share the experience with you with this uh, hot pink phone that Dutters let me borrow to do some more video. I have a feeling it's not going to come back pink. Sorry, but we'll see you guys uh, probably Monday on the Internet. No question. Just enjoy your week. Enjoy what you're doing. Don't take it for granted. See ya. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.